Welcome to the Stizzy Chronicles. I'm Stizzy. I live in this 30-foot RV, just myself and my fur babies. Now today, I'm going to talk to you about this product here that was sent to me by EcoWorthy. I got my lithium battery, I got two solar panels, an inverter, and a controller. Now, if you haven't already seen my unboxing video, make sure to check that out. But today, we're just going to test the products. We're going to test the products, and we're going to see how easy it is to set the system up. Now, just so we're clear, this is not the video to watch if you do not understand solar, because I don't understand it myself. Now, I understand it enough to put this system together, but not enough to teach you how everything works today. We're just going to walk through the process of this DIY setup just to see what it's like. And then you can decide if this product, this company, and this setup process is something that you can handle. Now, just to be safe, I am going to put on some gloves. I don't know if it's necessary when working with solar panels, but I have oily skin, so I'm going to just put it on anyway. So before setting up everything, I'm just going to take a look at all the products, let you get a good look at everything. The Worthy is giving us some budget-friendly options for solar. This is a lithium ion phosphate battery. You will get 4,000 cycles or more than it's a 10 year lifespan, high energy density, lightweight, and there is a built in battery management system with this product. We also have the inverter. This is a 600 watt off grid inverter, it does come with a remote. This is a 30 amp charging controller with an LCD display and a dual USB port. And then we have our solar panels. This is a 100 watt solar panel. So we have two 100 watt solar panels and we're just going to put that together. The only thing we really need outside of everything that's sent to us is going to be some scissors because there is some cutting that will need to be done. So we have access to the wires. <coughs> and then just a simple screw. I will be using their video, which is available on their YouTube channel to walk me through this process. I'm beginning the setup process by taking the cables that came with the inverter and starting with them. Just as a heads up, one mistake that I made is I jumped into it before checking the end connecting pieces. They are different sizes. One is intended to connect with the inverter. The other one is intended to connect with the battery. So later on you will see I will have to do this part all over again. Next up in the process, we are going to start connecting our battery cables to the power controller. Do note there is a slot for the solar panels, the battery, and an optional DC load. Now we're looking at the battery cables. I did need to use my handy dandy scissors in order to have access. The ends of the wires are different. One is going to fit the nuts and bolts of the battery connection and the other is just open wire that can fit inside of the controller. You do get some protective end caps with the kit to help protect the wire as well as distinguish between positive and negative connections. Since there are no distinguishing features with the battery cable, such as a red covering for the positive poles, black cable for the negative poles, I am separating my positive and negative cable. I'm making sure to double and triple check every connection because any damage caused due to reverse polarity is not covered by the warranty.
This is the moment when I realize something ain't right. The battery bolt will not go through the connecting cap. So I have to switch everything up. But before I can switch everything up, I gotta take everything apart. Safety first. Once all the cables are connected to the battery, you may get a little spark. Don't panic, don't panic. The battery and the power controller are now connected. As you can see, the display is now powered on. Connecting the solar panels was probably my favorite part because it was the easiest in my opinion. Although all the connectors do display whether it's a positive or negative pole, you mainly just need to connect the male and female parts together until you hear a slight click. Solar panels will also come with some solar extension cables, one black, one red, each are five meters in length or a little over 16 feet. In addition to the solar extension cables, you'll also receive Z brackets, which will allow you to flat mount your panels on your RV, your van, your boat, or home roof. EcoWorthy also has adjustable tilt mounting brackets as well as solar tracking systems that you can purchase from their website. Once the solar panels are connected to the power controller, you will see it displayed. The final step of the setup was connecting the remote to the inverter. You do see that it lights up because there is a little bit of juice left in the battery from leaving the factory. I will need to charge the battery in order to get the full effect. This is a great starter kit. It's enough to charge my devices and power a few of my small appliances. But the coolest part is that I can expand on it. I can add to the battery bank, add more solar panels, and upgrade the inverter and the power controller. Well, as you can see, we're all set up. So if you have a limited understanding of solar power, don't let that stop you. If you have a limited budget, don't let that stop you. Definitely check out the EcoWorthy products. I will have these products linked in the description. I was able to set it up even though I don't really understand it, but it's set up. Now I just gotta allow the battery to charge. I do have some stands coming for the panels and I have a general idea where I'm gonna put everything inside the RV. I still have some shifting around to do, but that was it. That's all it took. My very first solar setup. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time. In fact, while we're talking about it, I need all my creatives to get together and help me out. If you are a music producer, a music composer, an animator, a special effects artist, what I need is the schoolhouse rock version, the magic school bus edition. Matter of fact, give me Osmosis Jones so I can understand solar.